Hi guys, it's me, which you can see, so why the fuck do I say that? I have no idea I'm going to start this video, actually. Um, are going to be a little bit different I think in, in the terms of I'm, I'm not going to be they're just going to be different you'll, you'll work out how because I'm done with any kind of any kind of I don't know disingenuousness just a minute guys very windy very windy um, I just I'm becoming I'm becoming a fucking neutrality junkie I just don't want to feel like this anymore. Um, I I have been through so much in the last five weeks, and it's literally kicked the shit out of me on all these different levels. But it's been medicine. And for people that don't do the inner work, they don't understand that. They just see that as negative and they just dwell in the, you know, the dark side. Whereas me, I see that, you know, with the, all the things that have happened, they were threatening to happen, you know, like with the mammogram thing and, oh, something bad's gonna happen, but then they don't happen. And instead what happens is that my health contagion consciousness is coming up. And I'm at the point now where, how do I put this even into fucking words? I'm at the point now where more than anything, it's about the fear and the the measures that people take to disassociate from their mass consciousness, their hell contagion or separation consciousness. There's all these different terminologies for it. I call it the hell contagion. Um, we, I spoke, I spoke about this in many of my videos, how we're made into batteries here, right? How we feed the matrix. And I was, I was on a little walk um, and ran into somebody I knew about, ooh, 25 years ago. And this guy, just, you know, you know these people that are PCs, right? They have no life force, they have oily eyes and they feed typical of that. And before I, I, I was even in the way of it, I ended up having a conversation with him and just feeding him my little shit. Oh, it was just like, what the fuck are you doing? And he got in the end, I ended up disentangling myself from it. Um, but it was a great big learning curve because we, we meet the same patterns on every fucking level, you know. It makes you feel like you're not getting anywhere. It's, it's not actually true. You are getting somewhere, but you, you know, you, this has to be expunged on all levels. I got home, and then that evening, I got a phone call. I didn't pick it up. I, I never do. I just wait until people leave a message, right, to see who they are and what they want. And it was somebody else from my past who'd seen the guy that I'd met on my walk and who... Clearly, well, who, who was a narcissist, the guy that I used to um, go out with, and he, he was an absolute bastard. So why he thinks that I would want to re-engage with him is beyond me. It's, it's like, what the fuck? Um, see, one narcissist tells the other narcissist, oh, you know, and I had a chat with her, and yeah, she, uh, she fed me a nice bit of louche, and uh, you should give her a bell, because she'll probably do the same for you. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even listen to the message. I just um, erased that message and just, whatever. I actually unplugged the phone for a few days. He won't be calling back. 
it it showed me how we feed the fucking matrix and how I've been feeding it still. It it's like that submarine thing, right? That's going on or not. It's not actually going on at all. And everybody feeds that. Or the fucking BBC debacle with that Schofield guy. Who fucking cares? Who cares? Or your next door neighbor knocking on your door because he needs something sorting that he could sort out himself and you inadvertently end up helping him because you're so used to behaving a certain way and you're so used to thinking a certain way and oh my god there's so much happening on so many levels here um, you know then what are we trying to get away from? What is it that we don't want to go through and don't want to feel? And, and I, am, I am feeling that. Because it's here and there's no getting away from it anymore. There's not. I, I, you know, I get up in the morning and I used to get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee and, 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 you know, switch on YouTube and just kind of, you know, whatever and listen maybe a bit of this and a bit of that. I can't do it anymore. None of it. It's garbage. All of it. Um, it's all garbage. Garbage. So I make my cup of coffee and I just go and stare out the window for a bit. I can't watch anything anymore the, 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 on, on Netflix. it's all garbage it's garbage it's garbage I don't care what people do I don't care where they go I don't want to know get away from me it's not no hard feelings at all you know it, it's like we were driving along the other day and I see I mean everybody's on their phone there's this really broken people everywhere the, 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 it, it's it, it's getting more and more grotesque it's getting more and more insane it's getting more and more dystopian and distorted and twisted and difficult I mean I bought some supplements and got ripped off and it was all really fucked up I ended up having to call my bank and I'm with the cooperative bank and they are the worst bank ever man and I've switched I've opened up another bank account I'm leaving this bank they're full of shit the cooperative they're worse than anything 40 minutes to get through to somebody that I'm like why are you speaking to me in Swahili I don't understand the fucking word you're saying um, all the shit that they put me through to verify by visa bullshit and then when I do get ripped off they don't give a shit and don't help me see so I know it was all about obstructionism it was not to help you at all it, it never is um, the matrix now is absolutely beyond desperate to to eat you alive to eat me alive it really fucking is right and yet when it attacks and it does the black hands, the horrible self-loathing energies that you get, the trauma, because I don't know if you've ever noticed, but people really don't love themselves, they don't like them. People feel with self-hate. And that shit has to come up. For me it's been coming up for years and years and years, but you get to a point where you see it. You see, you finally get it. You get it. You see. You see how it all fucking fits together. Clear as day. And at that point, you really are able to disentangle from it. You see how you've been manipulated into feeding this evil shit show hmm. and you can stop little by little by little doing it. it it's so you're so immured to it it's so insidious that it takes a little while to get to grips with the disentanglement process but you, you get it and once you do that I believe yeah you can uh, see maybe results I'm, I'm not 
I'm not saying anything, guys, because I've, I've honestly, I've been through the ringer to such an extent, I don't even have any fucking words for it. I had another tooth pulled out last week's Thursday, but I knew for months that something like that was necessary because that was a root canal done by a dentist 28 years ago who somewhat resembled Beetlejuice and was like, my God, man, you have bad fucking teeth, but hey, never mind. It had to be done. I had very little money. It was done. It lasted for 28 years. It's a fucking miracle, but it had to come out because something occurred to me as well. That the reason I'm doing this physical detox and have been now for nearly five months, which has precipitated my body chucking out all kinds of poison because I haven't lived a healthy life. At all. And then there's all the energetic layers of that detox as well. Right, because it's way beyond the day, and I can tell you that now. Then this whole reality, this whole experience we are supposedly having here is way beyond the mundane. Let me tell you that, right? This is not a mundane world. It never was. The mind control makes you see it that way, but it isn't, you know? But uh, it's like these, these... If your body is toxic, if you have toxic teeth or toxic layers of fat... You know, if, if you're still smoking or drinking, or if you're used to smoking, you're used to drinking, your body's toxic. That serves as, a, as an anchor into lower vibrational layers of this, the matrix. You ain't gonna get out. I don't think you can. That's just my opinion. I think that that tooth had to go because that was a toxic tooth. And we pulled it out and it was, it was not good. So there's no mercury left now. Um, I had to see the doctor again for, you know, other health issues like interstitial cystitis, which is a detox reaction. But there's other shit going on as well. I've been through it, guys. It's been dreadful. All right. Oh, you little dog, man. What a cutie. Oh, oh never mind. See you again. Um... It, you get to a point where you're, where you, it's such a humbling experience. The grief, the terror, the, the, the suffering, the misery, the hopelessness, the despair, the demonic attack, the, the, the everything, the whole thing, this is this dreadful, absolutely beyond words, but it's very humbling. You get to a point where all your, the, the, the thing that people call the ego, which it isn't really, it's, I call it the fake persona, it's, it's just leaking out of you, gushing out of you, and it, it's gone, it's gone. You don't, you don't want to do hate anymore, you don't want to do rage anymore, you don't want to look at these people and say, oh, fucking NPC, cunt, this, that, blah. you know, you can't do the whole war. Vengeance, hate, rage, judgment anymore. Is that an NPC? Is that, are they souls going on? Ooh, ooh. You can't do it anymore because you have no energy left. You have the, if you were a computer, there would just not be any room left on your hard drive for that stuff at all. It just doesn't matter anymore. What you do have is discernment. This person, this place, this event, this energy, whatever, ain't right for me. So I'm turning around and I'm leaving that. Or if you are forced to interact with it, like I was with the bank and all. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> um, you do it in awareness. You, because I was in awareness, but it was triggering the fuck out of me, it has to be said. But I've spoken about this, haven't I? I call it the, 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 the healing covenant. It brings up the last remnants of your hell contagion. It really does. The, this thing that everybody refers to as the matrix. And again, I wish I had a different word for it. I don't like to follow the crowd with regards to terminologies like that but again you come to it you get to a point where you see what it is and, and the, br 
the, 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 the grotesque, horrifying abomination that it is. The abuse, the violations, everything, everything is so beyond worse. It is so bad. And you're surrounded by these people living dead that don't they don't get that. Oh, you've been on your holes and they're, they're all happy, 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 whatever, whatever they are, whatever they are. I, I am done even giving a shit, seriously. And I mean this with love. I don't care and I don't want to care. I don't want to care. I choose neutrality and I choose to let it go and I let it go and I let it go and I surrender and I let it go. And I find a measure of acceptance in my humility, which is genuine. It's genuine. It, it's just, I'm emptying out. I am emptying out and I want to be emptied out because I am done and I don't want to feed this anymore. When I see something that is good and pure and true, I recognize it and I give it my heart, my love. When I see that which is evil, I witness it and I let it go. I, I, I release it. And I, I, this is not like... Okay, I'm just this. Oh, no, no, no. There are days where I don't feel that way, but I'm in that learning curve. I'm in that process now, yeah? That's where I'm at, guys. That's where I'm at. I mean, YouTube as well. It's like, oh, don't bother doing any more videos. Nobody's watching your videos. Nobody cares. They're worthless. They're shit. They're stupid. They're this. They're that. See? I mean,. I've noticed though that there's a few other channels on YouTube that I like that the content is sort of alright and some of it is actually quite good. Uh, and their subscriber levels have gone down, their viewing figures have gone down, their comments are what the fuck. So the voices that need to be heard, YouTube is doing everything it can to silence. But had all the power, it would be gone, it would be gone, and, and it isn't. If evil was all powerful, I would not be in this beautiful place. Let me show you a minute. You, you see what I mean? Oh, there's a nice stone for me to sit on. Cool. <laughs> right? It, it, there, there is tranquility. There are two beautiful swans over there. Mr. and Mrs. Swan. Um, it, the, 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 the Schumann resonance man, right, has been making these weird patterns and I've been keeping on tabs of that. I have a plant and those same patterns are showing up in the plant's leaves little diamond patterns in straight lines. It's incredible. I can feel, I can feel deeply, deeply, deeply that something incredible and very big and momentous is going on. Neutrality, let it go, keep letting go, disentangle, disentangle. It doesn't matter about submarines or Philip Schofield. It doesn't matter about uh, Biden's son's laptop. It doesn't matter about what's on Netflix. It doesn't matter what's on YouTube. It doesn't matter about anything. It's in your head that it matters. It's in your head that that's where it's at. But it's not and it never was. This is where it's at. It's in here, guys. And if you feel that you're having the fucking shit kicked out of you and that evil's out to get you, stop and pay attention to what is going on. You're being triggered again and again and again because the last of your etheric implants are dissolving and being removed. Uh, there is trauma, there is self-hate, there is self-attack, the, 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 you know, oh, it's better to expect the worst, that way you won't be disappointed, it's the only way to stay safe, all that shit is leaving. Ergo, the fear, 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 oh, you need to be afraid, you need to be afraid, don't forget to be afraid. Expect the worst. You know, you lie in bed and you can't sleep, I mean, I've been having major trouble sleeping, I've lost my appetite, man, I can't eat, so I'm losing even more fucking weight, which is not good. Um, 
to all intents and purposes, I could sit here and say, oh my God, evil's attacking me. I'm not going to make it. All is lost. Evil's won. But I, I just don't feel that way. Despite everything, I still just don't. Um, I lo I'm loving my ability to get it and I'm loving my humility. I'm loving that. I'm loving my forgiveness. I'm loving my acceptance, meaning I see. I see this and I see that and I see that and I recognize and I know what that is and I release that and I am neutral. And then I see something beautiful and I recognize that and I feel that, yeah? Like I feel these great, big, powerful trees. I like a, a big, beautiful beech tree. I put my hands on the tree and I can feel the life force and it communicates with me and it gives me a little bit of its strength. Generously, that helps me to get through another day. The fear has been so so bad like oh you know all these terrible things are going to happen and you're going to be crushed and you, you'll end up committing suicide and that will be that you see because evil always wins and there's nothing you can do and that's always been a fucking program so why don't you just go back to eating crap food and why don't you start smoking again and go back to just expecting all these terrible things to happen go on go on do that why don't you spend your days catastrophizing because that's just the way it is you know Just that, I mean, I remember going to counselling sort of like, what, a long, long time ago. And for the first time becoming aware of what everybody refers to as the inner critic, which... And, and, and finally plunging in to this, this journey, you know? And uncovering the truth layer by layer by layer by layer. Getting myself back, my actual true self, my sanity, my, my truth, my sanity. My faith, my trust, yeah, sorely test it, sorely test it. But perhaps that tempers it, I don't know. I have a choice in every moment of every day regardless. I can sit in the self-hate and the self-attack and expect the worst and be all passive-aggressive and all perverse about it self-pity oh it's never gonna be all right anyway everything's really fucking shit and mm, i'm just gonna watch and see what philip schofield is up to now and i'm just gonna oh no i'm gonna oh oh it's only oh ten more what was it like ten more minutes to go before the occupants of some bloody underwater vehicle explode I, how sick Oh, I'm going to do that, yeah, and I'm going to go onto YouTube and watch all these videos about what, what they're all doing, what the ref is doing and what they're going to do to us, and... <laughs> no, 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 I don't. You know, I, I mean, I'm literally just letting it go, letting it go, letting it go, letting it go, and, and just... There are days where it's... I'm on my fucking knees, I don't even know how the fuck I'm going to survive. Terrified. Ter shaking, literally, like shaking and, and, and wanting to run, wanting to leave my actual body, like like I need to get away from this feeling, this energy, this horrifying black chokehold, this whatever this is, I don't even know what this is, I, I can't even think straight, I can't see, my eyes are all floaty, floaty, what's going on? But I get through it, I get through it, and then there's another problem, another issue that puts the fear of fuck into me, is threatening to happen. Oh, you better get back to the dentist. Because I went there on Wednesday and he had a look and he said, well, no, it seems okay. It's an old root canal, but, you know, we can keep it going for a bit. Uh, so, I knew, I was like, yeah, oh, okay then, all right then, because, you know, I'm thinking, well, I'd rather not have it pulled out, you know, and all, but uh, the next day I was back. Because something said, Anika, go back. Tell him it's hurting. It was hurting a little bit. Tender, more like. But 
it's an excess, ex, you know, pretend it's worse than it is. You need to have that tooth pulled out. You've been knowing for months that that needed to happen. So that's what I did. And my dentist is pretty good, it's private. And he pulled it out. He pulled it out. And it came out just like that. Just like that. No issues whatsoever. Whereas the one that I pulled out before, there's an implant thing in there now. I'm having an implant put in. Um, that was like, uh, I don't know, something out of a really bad horror movie. <sighs> wow. But I'm glad that tooth is out. But then something else started up and it's like, it's never going to end. You're going to be destroyed. You're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. And it's like, well, I have two choices. You know, I can either let the fear ride me and, 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 and just fuck me in every imaginable way. Fuck me up and destroy me. Go into the darkness again, yeah, 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 might as well, might as well. Because, you know, the leap of faith of saying, you know what, I'm just going to hold a little space despite the terror that I feel, despite the horror that I feel, my heart thumping away and not being able to eat and not being able to sleep and feeling absolutely horrible, beyond horrible, beyond anything. I can still choose trust, faith that I, I put my faith in this this that which I call the great mother which is of me within me I belong there I am valuable I am precious I belong there that is my home because if we were separate separation consciousness we wouldn't have all that intuition we wouldn't have that maverick effect you know that I talk about it's not just the synchronicity it's meaningful occurrences, events, meaningful meetings, um, synchronicity, it, it, it's, it's a, an amalgamation of a lot of different aspects, this thing I call the maverick effect, it's the guidance, it's the protection, it's, it's that which I know to put my faith in, the great mystery, the Native American people call it the great mystery, it's good, it is very mysterious, it's the high priestess. It's not straightforward, like your Fibonacci consciousness, the hell contagion, where it's like, well, one and one is two, and that's just the way it is. In the Maverick effect, one and one could be anything, but it will guide you just where you need to be, and it will help you. And no, it doesn't mean that all your problems will be solved, because if you achieved that, and, and, and you know, like all the fucking New Age bliss junkies, with their inefficacious fucking fluffy garbage oh no no we don't want to go into that no oh that's so negative you're so negative we don't want to go there no it will take you where you need to go so that you may alchemize alchemize that mass consciousness that separation consciousness that where you literally well I've got to I've got to get on I've got to do I've got to fix this I've got to sort this out I've got to, that fucking asshole over there and look at that woman over there what the fuck is that about these fucking NPCs and this and that and ooh like that and that is your mass consciousness your separation consciousness you 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 don't feel connected you don't feel belonging you don't feel valuable you don't feel precious you feel worthless you hate yourself you feel powerless and when you really go down that rabbit hole you end up facing the belief that evil always wins and there's nothing you can do and it's how that actually really feels the terror is beyond any words it's horrifying it's really difficult but you've got to go there you've got to go there you've got to alchemize that because it is an anchor and it will anchor you in the matrix it's so bad that the whole of society soul people disassociate from they're very good at doing that in order to have this 3d whatever duality experience extreme duality you know because there's people that are just happy to go on like, holidays and, uh, you know, they're sorting out their pension and they've joined a fucking country golf club and all that type of shit. And yeah, they are sold. They do make eye contact. They don't smell like a Chinese launderer and they're just, you know, kind enough, whatever. But that's in them. Oh yeah, it is. You'd never know, you know. 
they're such nice upper middle class people. No, they don't have that hell been taken in them. They're happy, they're good. No, they're not. They're all fucked up. They don't see, they don't get it, but they're here to have a particular type of experience. And there's boarding gate number four, because there's all these different boarding gates, and there's all these different people, and they're all going different places now, because this is it now, guys. And it's not over just yet, but it's it's getting there, it's getting there. It's getting there. You know? Uh... You have a choice. If you have to wear it all, if you have to lose it particle at this moment in time, you see what this horrific monstrosity called the Matrix, life, reality, is, how it operates. It's eating us alive, which is why we get sick, which is why we grow old, which is why all of it, all of it, all of it. And yet it has married for some, it no longer has married for us, it's time to get the fuck out. So everything that keeps us in it, within us, needs to be alchemized. Ergo detoxing. Ergo all kinds of shit. Whatever that is for whoever. Whatever it means. Detoxing means different things to different people. You know. Stop feeding the beast. Stop feeding it. Stop feeding it. Walk away from it. It's so addictive, isn't it? It's that way for a reason. You've been made an addict. You're an addict. You're addicted to the Matrix, to everything the Matrix gives you. That codependent people pleasing. Oh, I need to help so and so. And he hasn't got any money. I need to raise money for them. And I need to help my neighbor because, you know, poor guy. I need to help them, help them, help them. Oh, they're all vaccine damage and I need to help them all. And if I don't, I'm a bad person and I'm going to burn in hell. You know, I need to watch this and I need to watch it and I need to go there and oh god, they're doing that over there. Look at it, look at it, they're doing that. This is happening and we're not going to make it and oh my god, oh. No. Let it go. Let it go. It's, it's still there, I know. You let go and it, it doesn't go away straight away. You get these thoughts, you know. You're lying in bed, you get these weird thoughts about imaginary scenarios that are not likely to ever happen. You know, there's so many different aspects and nuances to what it is to be a battery, a slave in the Matrix, in, in the concentration camp. So many fucking nuances that... You know. It's a purification thing. I feel, you know, more than ever. Purification. Time to get out of here. Well, and hey, maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe evil has one and we're all fucked. I don't really believe that though. Because I know what evil is. It's not natural. It's not powerful. Though it must not be underestimated, it has done a massive number on us here. The mind control is just awe-inspiring, it really is. Right? Never underestimate the enemy, bad idea. No, no, study, 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 that's what I've been doing. I've been paying a great deal of attention. And I'm not cocky, I'm not, you know. I allow myself to be humbly defiant, gently defiant, little baby steps, okay. That's it. No more, no less. Love. I choose love. I always choose love. I choose trust. I choose faith. I choose love. I choose gratitude. I choose humility. Genuine humility. Not grovelly. Oh, yeah. No, no. Um, because with that you know you are valuable. Precious. That you belong. Not in the matrix, but in the Great Mother, right? In love, yes. Everything else is a lie, it's an evil lie that evil has made you believe completely. And even now, there's all that bit of you that believes it. The terror is just, wow. The things that are happening are taking you into your greatest fear. You're facing your greatest fear evil always wins. There's nothing you can do. You're never going to get out of here. You're going to 
end up committing suicide and then you're right back at the beginning. You're going to live the same life over and over and over again. You're never going to get out of here. It's a soul trap. You're never going to get anywhere. And it's, it's, it's in a really twisted, insane way comforting for some people to stay with that. Maybe somebody will come and rescue me. Yeah, yeah, that, that, hopefully, yeah. But it doesn't work that way. You have to make the crossing. You have to grab yourself and with the, 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 the courage that you can muster, make your choice, hatch your bets, and say, I'm gonna trust in the Great Mother. I'm gonna trust that somehow the power of the good is gonna have my back, has my back, and that everything is gone. Somehow gonna work out, even all these things keep threatening to happen and I'm, in my car, I have to drive to the dentist. Yeah, again, I don't want to be there because it's a horrible neighborhood. It's really bad and everything is fucking broken. You know, foobar, horrifying. Never known anything like it. Wow. I mean, I was in the doctor's, like, in the waiting room and there was this leaflet. And it was all about long COVID and how they inviting people of... Um, what they call minorities, which I, I think is offensive to call black people, African people, a minority. They're not a minority. How are they a minority? They're people like you, like anyone, right? Or people of our Indian backgrounds and whatnot. They're all obviously wanting to study people uh, who are vaccine damaged, you know, really what it is. Um, and that's really what that's all about, you know, because that is what it really is we know this and it but it was very uh tavistock institute very kind of like nudge clinic and i was like yeah yeah i know what that's all about you know and i was saying see see what they're doing oh be afraid give it your give it your luge feed it feed it and i'm like no 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 but i do notice things horrifying because even though it's tottering literally i mean look at it right you just pay attention and you will see it you will see it that evil is tottering it's a good girl i'm winning i'm winning i'm winning you know but it is like mm, i don't think you are but it's all mind control and miasmatic shit going on and um the very fucking traumatized we've been severely severely abused here it's beyond words so it's very hard, but it's unraveling, and it's the, 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 and then you you get a clearing. It's like ta-da, and it's yeah, yeah. I even you, you you dare sometimes you say, well, you know what? It's either make a break now. It's make a break. Either evils won or is going to win soon, and it will just destroy everything and just rip us all apart in the most horrific way, and or torture us to death slowly, or who knows, or the lights winning, and things are going to shift. But it's an it's an interactive thing, and if you sit on the side on the wall, thinking that oh it's okay, I'm just going to sit in my hell can take it, and I'm not going to own it and I'm not going to be accountable and I'm just going to be totally reactive and, and argue and oh you're an asshole and you did this to me and and all this type of um, garbage consciousness hell can take in behavior and whatnot that you are habitually used to engaging with and you're just going to do that thinking that somehow you're going to shift anyway and it's going to work out anyway somehow somebody might rescue you and they're going to come and liberate us from the matrix then no you need to do your bit. It's just the way it is. And to be honest, I think that's fair and I think that's right. Consciousness creates reality. It's consciousness, it's consciousness. And, and this pathogen, hell contagion, needs to be expunged. It has to be expunged. There is no other way. We have to alchemize it. This is not a mundane experience, it never fucking was, and if you pay attention, you know that that is true. There is magic. Trust that the Great Mother has your back and that things are going to be okay, they're going to work out. This shit has to be purged, we have to transmute it, there is no other way. That which keeps you trapped in the matrix must be transmuted and stop feeding it. Don't let it 
do that to you the people the events the places all of it I know that yeah everything is made very very difficult the anti-force the anti-flow the obstructionism is wow it's because of that it's desperate we'll do the best that we can you know we all do those of us who, who are on the page we know do the best you can do the best you can the great mother will always meet you more than halfway I, I really do believe that I don't feel this way every day but I continue to choose love and I always will because I am a being of light and I, I every time I choose to go back into the passive aggressive bullshit oh boy I suffer so much it's so bad it gets so bad <gasps> and then I, I, I have such a hard time getting out of it again So, you know, I keep taking that leap of faith. That's all I've got. That's all I've got, you know. And even it, you know, when it really just gets really dark and it's just like, oh, whoa, so what if all the shit hits the fan, it all kicks off, and what then? And I'm like, whoa. If that's true, then there's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop it. I don't. Then, then that's it. Okay, sera, sera. You know, because does that mean that I should sit here and agonise and allow it to terrorise me and hold me to ransom? Is is that because that is obviously what it wants? You see, we've been doing it our whole life. We just didn't know it. And everybody around us is doing it, all waiting for the shoe to drop, and that's it. But no, they're going on a holiday to Torremolinos, you know. Probably drop that on the beach because they've had numero tres of, you know, the transubstantiation. I don't know. None of my business. See, here I do it again. Reactivity. Wow. I just wanted to do a little video, guys, in this spot. I think I'm going to get going. I just wanted to check in and please leave comments, you know, talk to me about where you're at and what's happening. If you find it's difficult, try leaving a comment in the community section, alright, that might work. Um, or leave your comments on my channel on Odyssey, which is totally fucking gone to shit as well in terms of platforms, wow. And please don't ask me to if I want to connect on Discord, why the fuck would I want to connect on a platform that's called Discord? Why are you even on there and on this channel? I don't get that. Like, hello? I don't want to connect on any social media platform. I'm on Facebook. If you want to fucking get in, you know, whatever. I, to be honest, it doesn't really work for me anymore getting in touch with people because time and time again, they turn out to be just not right. Um, no hard feelings, man, but no. Um, so if you want to speak to me, leave a comment. Either under my video or in the, um, you know, in the community section. Yeah, and let me know what's going on for you, because I care. Though, obviously, you know, I can't help you in any way, not really. I'm hoping my videos are of some sucker to people, but uh, on the whole, man, you know, I need to just look after myself and have my own back here because uh, I ain't got nothing left for anyone else, and that's not how it's meant to be anyway, you know, codependence. We are meant to have our own back and do our inner work and let go of everything else because we've got to trust that all souls will make it home, and I really do believe that with all my heart, and I trust that people, soul people, know eventually what they need to do they are where they're meant to be and it will work out okay i cannot carry other people i cannot codependently feed things anymore and to take responsibility for that which does not belong to me many times in my life i've been in really difficult situations nobody helped me you know and i got out of it just fine i did in the end i got out of it all my own merit and i am here today to tell the tale and I've learned from it 
is giving me wisdom, compassion, compassion. Compassion is not rescuing people. Compassion is recognizing a soul being, recognizing their journey and honoring them enough to not get in their fucking way. And they don't need fixing and they don't need intrusion and they don't need... Just leave them to it. Focus on yourself because it's just another distraction. It really just is and it's just what Mr. Matrix wants. You know? Let it go, guys. Let go. Honor yourself. Honor your journey and honor other journeys by allowing them to get on with it. Right? quite hot now. Very strange weather. Everything is very strange. It feels very, very strange. Very, very strange. Weird, high strangeness about. Everything is odd. It doesn't make sense. It's falling apart. It really is. And this is good. I know some of you really are going through it. I am really going through it. You are not alone. You are not alone. But only you can walk your path, only I can walk my path. And that's just how it is. You know? Anyway, all my love to all of you and thank you for listening to my videos. I hope they are of some help, some support, some comfort to you um, as you're navigating through the end stages of this whatever the fuck this is <laughs> all my love to all of you